my verdict on the Huawei Nova 8i. Let's say it's so, I send it back to Huawei. If you're still interested and want to know what I have to say about the Huawei Nova 8i, stay tuned and let's get started. The Huawei Nova 8i device I had a little bit over a week to try out and test it and uh, yeah, I came to the conclusion this is definitely a good device for the 100 to 200 price region but Huawei wants 350 euros for it and this is definitely too much. But why you might ask? Glad that you ask. It's the CPU, it's the biggest downgrade ever. If you take a look at the Nova 7i, the predecessor that is available in Europe as Huawei P40 Lite, then you will know why. Because this one came with the Kirin 810 chip and this Kirin chip outperforms the Snapdragon 662 like triple times, I would say almost, and at least this Kirin 810 chip is on the same power, same level as a Snapdragon 765G, roughly in the same ballpark, I would say. And especially in camera performance, you will see a big downgrade as well. And this has nothing to do with the very good processor, the very good uh, sensor they put in, but with the very bad processor they put in. Because the processing power is needed to drive or to take good photos out or videos out of a good sensor and this is something where the Nova 8i falls flat on its face because the processor is so weak that even the good chip, the good sensor, is simply a waste of money putting it in there when the CPU cannot keep up with the processing power. In fact, even refurbished devices like for example the P40 that I have here in my hands cost way less than the Nova 8i and the P40 is a way better camera system plus processor combination that you can get for refurbished under 300 euros this one 280 with a discount code from eBay but still very very cheap that you can get this here and uh, yeah it's a better if you if you're searching in the 300 price region xiaomi 11 lite 5g ne redmi note 10 pro a p40 if you want to stay with huawei or even an honor device that uh, might be better than what the nova 8i currently has to offer in fact I'm so convinced about the P40 here that I'm having in my hand that I'll just switch to it and show you the video from it. So when this device here, the P40, for 280 euros can outperform the Nova 8i, who's going to buy the Nova 8i? Probably no one, I would say. I'm not sure why Huawei is even putting it out, because it is a unique device for the global market especially. And why putting in super old Snapdragon 662 inside, only 6 gigabytes of RAM, a super high class sensor with uh, uh, 64 megapixels and 1 over 1.7 inch size sensors, so it's basically the same sensor as in the P20 series. But why putting this in when at the same time you are yeah, offering such a low class processor with not enough processing power? That's a bit unclear for me. But uh, you can write in the comment section what you think about the Nova 8i. I think it's a waste of money, a waste of time, and a waste of time especially for Huawei to create this Nova 8i that is I think unique to the global market, not even in the Chinese market. So I don't, I don't get it. If Huawei would have priced it more aggressively at 200 euros, I said okay let's go with it. It's, there's definitely a market for it, even though the processing power is a little lower. And with the Redmi Note 10 Pro or Redmi Note 10, you get a better device. Still, uh, yeah, 350 euro, I, they must have smoked or drank something bad because this is really too much, definitely. So this is my little verdict of the uh, Huawei Nova 8i. So that's a phone that I will not recommend buying because this one is not really a good device. So 
not for 350 euro 100 150 200 euro maybe so this is also pretty much the conclusion of all of the nova 8i so there will be no other video about the nova 8i i recorded a video about a gaming test i think i will release someday and i will also record or released already and a uh, little uh, comparison between the uh, 101 euro huawei phone the p40 yeah, the p smart 2021 that i got as well and i would say like it's more in terms of leveling almost the same a little bit faster than a p smart so this is why i would not put it in the ballpark of 100 euro but more like 200 euro ish but uh, yeah you have to decide if you really want it um, i snatched this p40 here uh, for 280 and uh, if you are searching for a huawei device that has good camera system good for vlogging good for video good for photos good in processing power good for games uh, not so much uh, audio i think because there's only a single speaker and no headphone jack but still a good device i would say so what do you think uh, write it down and that's everything for this short little video until the next time, bye.